It's pretty well known that at the end of a boss on Sonic games lies a giant capsule in which Dr. Robotnik has imprisoned small animals. Once you have defeated him, you can free the animals. This happens on Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog 2. And Sonic the Hedgehog 3. There is one particular animal which serves as a small reminder to Sega's past. This small bluebird is Flicky. In Sonic games, he may not seem like much, but he was once the protagonist to one of Sega's early arcade titles that got overlooked by other arcade classics like Pac-Man or Donkey Kong. Nevertheless, it was just as entertaining and later on was ported to the Sega Genesis. From the creator of Sonic the Hedgehog comes a highly addictive platformer about a bird who struggles to rescue chicks from hungry tiger cats and lizards. The objective of the game is to guide the endangered chicks to an exit where they'll be safe from harm. There are weapons which can be thrown at enemies to ward them off. The setting is a house, so weapons consist of common household items such as bones, plants, hammers, teacups, and apples. Throwing these weapons can be very satisfying. Just don't try this at home. It's not only the gameplay that makes the game, but also its simplicity. The first screen in the game introduces you to the cast. Flicky, Chirp, Tiger, and Iggy. The second screen tells you what to do, and then you start the game. But the thing you immediately notice is the catchy music that truly embodies the fun and fast-paced action of the little animals running around everywhere. But don't let its looks deceive you, it's also very challenging. Unfortunately, Flicky never spawned any sequels, which means this is the only Flicky game there is. But as mentioned earlier, Flicky makes appearances in many Sonic titles and even had a major role in Sonic 3D Blast. Here, Dr. Robotnik has captured many Flickies, and it's up to Sonic to gather them up and deliver them to a central collection point. Sound familiar? The gameplay of Sonic 3D Blast is similar to Flicky, but it doesn't stop there. Even in more recent times, the Flicky gameplay appears in a small section of Gunstar Super Heroes for the Game Boy Advance. As you are progressing through the stage, you are suddenly faced with the task of collecting chicks and taking them to an exit door. This small part of Gunstar Super Heroes is exactly like Flicky. But why is it here? It's not part of the story and just comes up in the middle of the game. Its only purpose is to pay tribute to a great game, which deserves more recognition. All these years, Flicky has been hiding amongst various Sega games when all he asks is to stand alongside video game legends and to have the appreciation he is long overdue for. <laughs>